or down, up, down, up, down, up, right? Well, 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 it looks like I struck a bit of a chord with a lot of you in relation to my last video. If you missed it, I will put a link in the description below. The topic was cycling gear that I have purchased in the past that I sorely regret purchasing. Um, it looks like I wasn't alone in that. Many thanks for all the new subscribers. Many thanks for all the comments. So as I mentioned in that video, part two, this week's topic, is cycling gear that I have purchased in the past that I am so happy that I purchased. There's a few more items to talk about today. Let's get to it. Uh, but first things first, a montage. number one and we're gonna start again at the lower cost and then we're gonna move up to the higher cost items items that I have purchased in the past that I'm so happy I did includes this Rafa winter cap now I was on their website the other day and I couldn't find this so I'm not too sure if we're in between seasons or if they don't make it anymore what do I like about it it's comfy it's got this wool band, well, it's probably polyester cotton blend that wraps around the ears and it's got this bill on the front. It's comfy, it fits really well underneath the helmet. This is my go-to item for winter wear here in Ottawa. So yeah, that's item number one. Okay, item number two. And again, this one really pertains to winter riding as well. These craft winter mitts. These are their lobster mitts because of the design. Two in here, two in here, one in here. I think that's how it works. They are very comfy and they have some shielding on the front that is waterproof. Let's say it's uh, windproof and water resistant. But yeah, again, when it gets um, below zero, five degrees maybe, I'll pull these out and, uh, and they keep the hands nice and toasty. I'm a big fan of craft winter mitts. I have two pairs, these lobster ones and just regular finger gloves. Yep, so happy I bought these. Okay, the third slash fourth item that I wanna show you of items that I've purchased, I'm so happy I did. Um, this pertains to Sunnies. First pair I'm gonna show you are uh, these Oakley Sutros, white with a reddish orange mirror on the front. Um, these are dope. I love these. So happy I bought them. They're comfortable. I'm a big fan of Sunnies, cycling Sunnies uh, that aren't full frame. So I like these, but what I like even more are these. I'm so happy I bought these. I have two pairs of the POC Aspires. These are obviously the iridescent light blue color. Not as um, mirrored as the Oakleys, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think these look great. I did a um, vlog on these. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, two pairs, POC Aspires. So happy I bought these. So happy I bought these. These are the Bont Vapor G gravel shoes. I've done a couple of videos on these um, when I first bought them and subsequently a, uh, a review of uh, how they perform. So I'm a big fan of Bont shoes. Um, I really like the bathtub monocoque carbon feel to these. These are super stiff. I don't think these would be my choice for a 200 kilometer gravel ride. There's not a lot of forgiveness in these, but they look amazing. For shorter distances, they're, they are great. Uh, the design is excellent. And um, again, super stiff. You're not gonna lose any watts uh, with these. Uh, 
Uh, if you know Bots, you know it's a quality product and uh, you know that they're uh, also heat moldable. So if the fit isn't amazing at the beginning, uh, go ahead, throw them in the oven, pull them out and, uh, and you can uh, shape them, not a ton, but you can shape them a little bit better if there's any hot spots on your foot. So yeah, I'm glad I bought these. To cover two items uh, which I bought which are similar I couldn't differentiate between the two which one I preferred more so I've put them on equal footing first and foremost is the Castelli GABA jacket if you know you know this is an amazing piece of kit it is water repellent not waterproof and it also has the gore windstopper technology on it highly recommended so happy I bought it. Also, can you tell I like a black jacket? I bought this. This is a ASOS Hubo early winter jacket. Now, winter to one person may mean something different to another person. Early winter, what is that? Fall? I break this bad boy out usually when it's around 10 degrees Celsius. Anything lower than that, and it's just a little bit too light. But if you know ASOS, this is quality, quality gear. You put this on and you feel like a champ. Not the cheapest product that you can get on the market, but it is quality. I fell off my bike a couple of years ago. I was taking a corner, which was a little sandy. I lost the front end. I went down and I banged my noggin. At the time, I was wearing a POC Ventral and it, um, it saved my head. POC Ventral. It's been out for a few years. One of the interesting things about POC, um, they had their own MIPS design for the longest time. I think it was called Spin. It looks now like they've uh, put that aside and gone back to using uh, MIPS technology. I love this helmet. I'm so happy I've found POC. This fits my head very well. Big fan of POC, big fan of POC gear. Obviously I like their sunglasses, jackets, um, quality stuff, and their helmets are excellent. I like these helmets so much. Um, I have the Ventral, uh, I have the Air, and I have the Ventral Tempest. Love them. They took care of my noggin. And we have come to the final item. Items that I have purchased in the past that I'm so happy I did. I am amazed it took me so long to purchase this item. What am I talking about? This bad boy. Obviously, this is at the top of the category of expenditures. If you haven't seen a video, I'll put a link into the description below. I've had this bike now for about eight months, six to eight months, something like that. What is it? It is a custom steel bike made by a company out of Toronto, Ontario called Mariposa. This is their road bike version. Again, custom steel, NV hoops, NV 3.4s, NV tires. It's got the SRAM red wireless Grupo all the way throughout it. It's got an NV carbon cockpit. It's got a physique saddle and an NVC post. What's not to love? So there you have it. Items that I have purchased in the past that I'm so happy I did. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care.